Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Contradiction. I was actually planning to stop recording to, for the evening, but uh, I guess we're continuing on. <laughs> uh, I guess I can put in another uh, episode. Let's uh, talk to uh, um, Paul Rand about uh, all of the things. Kate Vine's death. Let's ask about this item. How well did you know Kate? Hardly knew her at all. Um... Met her a few times, but the cause, that's about all. So when was the last time you saw her? So how'd you know she was last, promising? Uh, Friday. I just popped out of the cause and, uh, about seven. Did you speak to her then? It's possible. And how did she seem? It's possible, Was she huh? happy, sad, preoccupied? She was drunk. So that doesn't actually answer the question. All right, little driver's license. Do you know if Kate had lost this? It's her driving license. How would I know that? You didn't see it lying around anywhere. No. She didn't say anything about it. Silver key, unlocked bicycle. Did you know anything about Simon Thompson's bike? No. Well, he's a. Uh... To the point. Ever tried Simon's homebrew? Simon Thompson? No, I haven't. I wouldn't touch anything that has had Simon's fingers in it. Well, it doesn't sound like he likes Simon at all. Man, uh, you should try his homebrew. I mean, uh, I'm hearing some good things about the mechanics in it. Uh, broken pendant. I... I can ask about them both. Interesting. Have you seen this before? Looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was uh, in the woods. Presumably had something to do with Kate or a killer. Well, Possibly. That's what I'm trying to establish. Shouldn't it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well... Don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. This, uh... This guy is kind of an asshole, you know? Uh, let's ask about the card. What do you know about this? It's a freedom necklace. Yeah? It's a symbol we use um, sometimes on the courts. Little bird in cage flying away. Um... Freeing themselves from their past is the analogy. So do they get them when they join the course or something? No, 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 not as a rule. I think I bought one once as a present. Oh, not uh, for Kate, by any chance? <laughs> no, not for Kate. I can't really remember who it was for, a birthday present maybe for one of the students. Which student? I have no idea. How do you not remember that? You may have bought one once as a present for a student. I mean, this seems like the the kind of thing that you would, would be far out of the ordinary. Well, we know that he didn't buy it for Kate, because Kate got it from Emma, unless Emma is lying about it. Um, so maybe it was for Emma. Am I forgetting which Rand uh, Emma was having an affair with? I don't know. It's doubtful that Paul would know about the broken window at the pub. Well, how would we know that without asking? What do you know about this? Looks like a mask. Yeah. You don't recognize it? Not particularly. Looks like a monarch mask. What's a monarch mask? Monarch is a fancy dress. Outfitters. Ryan goes there sometimes. Thinks mask is from Monarch Costumes. Hmm. Uh, photo frames of paint. Let's ask about that. Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. Ever used one? Why would I use a scrying mirror? To scry so something? So you have no interest at all in this sort of thing? No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Not at all. Strange question. 
Wasn't that the point for them all to seem strange? Uh, advertising poster? Could you tell me a bit about this? Had it designed by an agency. Hmm. And when was that? Last year. Is that when you started the business? Yes, I suppose so. Hmm. Business started last year, A. Eh? Uh, Kate's argument. What did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? I didn't go to the pub last Friday. You didn't hear anything about an argument in the pub? Should I have? No, that's fine. It was not a direct answer to the question. Uh, let's see, hand symbol carving? If I did this, would it mean anything to you? I presume you've seen an Atlas student doing that. Perhaps. Ah, so this is an Atlas thing. Well, it wasn't exactly our idea. The students started doing it spontaneously to show commitment to the cause. Cute, really. Mm -hmm. Which sure. student did you see doing that? I'm not sure, but he was carving it into a tree. I told him to stop. Did you really? Why? Defacing public property. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What's the punishment for that kind of thing nowadays? Prison sentence? Uh, Mass kicking. Fine. All right. What about defiling public liberty? Does that carry a fine too? Oddly enough, the student in question argued a similar point. Is that something you encourage on the Atlas course? We encourage people who put ideas first and moral anachronisms second. The problem with the law, Inspector, is that it's out of date. Well, I suppose that's a matter of opinion. However, you still respect it. Oh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. It. I abide by it. We all play by the book, Inspector. But that's only because of the threat of possible incarceration. Wow, I didn't think I could like this guy less, short of him actually being the murderer, which I don't know if he is or not. But, uh, yeah, he's kind of a sack of crap. Um, Liam's death. How well did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam, who took his life. Oh. Well, as far as I remember, he was a good student, confident, outgoing. You didn't notice any problems? I believe he had problems at home. Were you there when he died? Yes. And what? afterwards? You didn't see him after the meeting? No. What was Liam like that night? No. Apart from being drunk, or possibly because of that, he seemed perfectly happy. So he was drunk, too. Well, I assume the bottle in his hand contained whiskey and not lemonade. Lots of similarities to Kate, don't you think? Drinking, depression, is that normal for the students? People come into the Atlas course for quick solutions to their problems. And when they don't get them as quickly as they might have liked, sometimes their impatience gets the better of them. Can we just burn this whole Atlas thing down? Uh, let's ask about the Atlas freedom phrase. Can you tell me a little about the Atlas phrase, free to be free? Where did you hear that? I was talking to one of your students. It's a little phrase we conjured up to summarize our objectives. What is your objective, if you don't mind me asking? Mine? Or do you mean the course's objective? Both. Of course. The objective of the course is to free people from bondage. We teach that most people are crippled by their past, by guilt, their attitudes, their beliefs. All that kind of nonsense. Guilt Sounds shitty. Cripples people. Feeling guilty in business is like a meat eater feeling guilty in an abattoir. Guilt comes from the archaic emotional centers of the brain. It's a vestige of our animal ancestry, that's all. In business, you heed it at your peril. I'm sorry, Inspector, my house appears to be haunted. Would you mind closing the door? So, you believe that guilt has no place in business? None at all. I have few beliefs, Inspector, but that's one of them. 
This guy is a terrible, terrible human being. Done something wrong. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Guilt has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Interesting opinion. Seriously, can we just? Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I feel dirty just talking to this guy. Uh, let's ask about the uh, mint. You know what this is, by any chance? I have no idea. Gardening isn't my kind of thing. Rebecca would probably know. I presume you've met Rebecca. Yes, yep. I I'm sure she'd enjoy telling you what it is. She's the kind of woman who likes to feel superior. Would probably marry a millionaire and then decide to run her own pub. Yes, why was that? Well... She isn't exactly housewife material. What's that supposed she to be? She likes to be in control. Like Maya. Shame, isn't it, that I'm in control of both of them? You are a horrible, horrible sack of flesh. Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum or Magic Mint? Sounds like it might be a drug. Kind of. It's is. a hallucinogenic plant. Legal, as a matter of fact. I'm not a drug taker, inspector. What about no medicine? Enthusiasm, voluntarily poisoning your brain. It's not and necessarily you've never poison. Seen anyone on the course taking it? Well, if someone had, they wouldn't have done it openly. We don't allow drugs or alcohol on our course. We like to tell the students that. And yet, success so many of them are drunk. Best drug. Whether you buy into that, of course, is another matter. All right, well, we have something to talk to him about, a uh, possible contradiction. Uh, let's ask about the Third Eye Flyer. What do you know about this? So you've been graced with Goebbels' company already, have you? What? James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose Ryan already told you about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did he tell you anything scandalous? Not unless you count the suicide. Oh. These things happen. Was it your idea? They don't just the happen. Yeah. Third eye. Yeah, I suppose it was. As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And third eye was the same as Atlas teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's That's not, death didn't prompt you to not make exactly any an changes? Answer. There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector. Any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years. It's called a coincidence, Inspector. I don't believe in coincidence. I expect they ate fast food also. But you're not investigating all the local chippies, are you? That, that wouldn't actually be a coincidence. It wouldn't be connected, but it wouldn't be a coincidence. All right, so, uh, let's see, doesn't allow drugs or alcohol, and Liam had been drinking all night at the seminar. Aha! So if you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site, why did you allow Liam to drink whiskey all night? Well, we did give him various warnings, did try to stop him, but... Uh, didn't work. So you just let him do let it? let him stay on the course? Yeah, well, we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school, Inspector. I'm sure you can We're throw him out. police. We can't enforce these rules. What the hell? But if they pay their fees, they're entitled to stay on the course. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to wipe or inject paint stripper all over their faces. Do you store any alcohol at Atlas? No. Is there a kitchen? Why, do you want to go down there and check? Yes. Well, obviously you wouldn't mind if what you're saying is true. Of course I wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find any drugs in there or alcohol. Oh, really? Whether I find alcohol at Atlas or not, it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. All right, anything else that he said that might have uh, relevance? Uh, Liam's death was unavoidable. Uh, 
Let's see. Um, no place for guilt in business. This guy's a capitalist, all right. So he bought a freedom necklace for a student. But I don't know if there's any way that we can connect that to Emma. Hasn't seen the mask before. No, I didn't think so. I'm not sure if there's anything else that we can get out of this right now. Okay, right, let's go that's ahead. it for now. Thank you. Oh, don't thank him. He's a douchebag. I get the feeling I might be seeing a lot of Paul tonight. Seems likely. Uh, let's see... Well, as long as we're here... Let's go to Abbey Farm. i ask you a couple more things, please. Uh, let's see, okay. Third Eye Flyer, we got that from him. Don't think there's anything else that we can... ...ask him about. I don't know if there's any way that we can, uh... Oh, well, let's see. Where is the uh, Atlas advertising poster? Local cult. Nope. Thank you. Probably be back later. Not sure if we can connect any of those. None of those others seemed really that on point. Let's go back to Rebecca's pub. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Alright. Um, we didn't really get anything new, did we? Thank you. Probably be back later. The only thing that uh, we haven't done, I think, is uh, talk to uh, Ryan about the um, the plant itself. So the kitchen must be down the corridor there, if what Paul said is true. Past the lavato lavatories. Let me go uh, talk to Ryan first. Ah, uh, he's probably at the meeting. Try the door on the right. Let yourself go. Feel your soul. Lifting. Well, yeah, that's not creepy at all. Then wait. For the moment to break free. His noodly appendages! Free. <laughs> Excellent, Hannah. Well, could you come back later, please? No. What's going on here? Seems cultish. Please, leave. Sorry, Ryan, there's a few more questions I have to ask you yet, and uh, time's ticking by. Leave. Okay. That was awfully... non-confrontational. Hmm. Doll burning ceremony. Strange doll burning ceremony was witnessed at Atlas. 
They burned his noodly appendages! How could they? Alright, we'll go down the corridor here. I don't know why I couldn't go down over, uh, before, but... Um... Ah, yes. Investigate. Lots of plates and such. No booze. Straws. Silverware. Interesting. Well, there's a TV right there with a DVD player. I don't think anyone will mind if I have a quick look at this. Ah, surely they won't. Why would they have... Why would they mind? Ooh, first aid. Uh, let's see. Let's... Let's try a uh, DVD from the pile first. That is an odd DVD player. Oh, I guess it's on the, the side there. That's a big audience. Freedom. True freedom means freedom from many vices that society had traditionally believed to be virtues. Self-criticism, self-doubt, guilt. Ladies and gentlemen, these are not virtues. These are sins. Born of a fake morality... Get off the stage! ...within our minds and collective consciousness by governments and religions through the ages with the sole purpose of preventing the masses Stopping us from achieving the same success, happiness, and freedom enjoyed by those at the very pinnacle of society. You know, James is less crazy than this guy. I'm going to show you that common morality is nothing more than the cynical creation of an elite desperate to stay in power. An elite hell-bent on preventing you from reaching your full potential. Morality is what Making keeps them, keeps the, the uh, elites from but the good news is having massive control. That you can take back control. You can become the success you deserve to be. Atlas will give you a unique and powerful advantage. Because you won't care what you Life do to other people. Technicolor glory can be yours. All that you have to do is to stay... Embrace it, enjoy it, and learn to love your ambition. Welcome to Atlas. This needs to be burnt down. All right, well, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and try using this. Why someone would leave this in a drawer in the kitchen, I don't know. Alright, so someone's picking pockets, apparently. That was it. Well, that was odd. Looked like someone pickpocketing, but why make a video of it? Indeed. Why? Well, it's a little bit weird, but uh, I'm not sure that there's much that we can do with that knowledge just yet. And he's probably going to tell us to leave. Yeah, we can't even go into that uh, door anymore. So let's go see uh, Simon and Emma. Actually, what I should do is... Uh, oh. There are other things there. Pick them up, too. Is that a USB drive? There were other things there on the ground.
No, remote control for some sort of lock was found outside the Atlas Training Center. Can't use it here. Alright, we'll go back to the woods. See if there's anything going on here now. Nope. Anything on the jetty now? Nope. You get the feeling that rather than uh, filming at different times of the day, they just put a filter on these videos. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Uh, it, it's reasonable. <laughs> It's not as bad as some old 50s and 60s movies, either. Let's knock for Emma. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Alright, let's see. Uh, suspicious X DVD. That sounds... I don't know that that's the best thing to ask her about, but... What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? I think it was what? something they did on the course. Simon mentioned it. No, they didn't do that when you were there. No. Weird. Have you seen this before? No. I don't think so. Not gonna ask if it's uh what is it? Do not do not move? Weird. Remote control lock? It isn't worth asking Emma about the remote control lock. Aw. That's <clears> all for <throat> the moment, thank you. Doll burning ceremony? What do you know about doll burning? Not on the course. It's a ritual thing. It's uh, getting rid of things that you don't need. Throw it into the fire. And that's a good thing? Well, yeah, it helps you getting rid of things you don't need so you can move on and take control again. So what are the masks for? They're just to help you get into the right frame of mind. Uh, just get you into the zone, you know, help with the trance. A trance? Yeah. Yeah, it's like um, it's like self hypnosis. We do it on the course sometimes. It's just to help you get into the right frame of mind. You know. So you haven't you talked about yourself. this with James, have you? How do you do that? Just stare into a mirror and chant something. You know, just say the same thing over and over again. Or you could just close your eyes and put yourself into a trance. Some people can do that, and that's safe. Well, yeah, hypnosis doesn't work the way that most people think it does. You can't just be hypnotized if you don't want to be hypnotized. But you can learn to hypnotize yourself. What did you say it was called? Auto-hypnosis. I don't think you use that term. Auto-hypnosis, same thing really. I think Simon was a bit too quick to play down the role of auto-hypnosis on the course. I'll have to uh, ask around about this. Definitely. Um... We can't ask him about that, because that's what we learned. Uh, can't ask about... Ah, induced by using mirrors. Oh, well, I don't know. Nope. Have you seen this before? No. What is it, porn? It's XXX on it. It isn't worth asking Simon about the remote control lock. All right, let's go back to Be back to later on, if that's okay. No. Even if it's not okay, I'll be back later anyway. Do you know what auto-hypnosis is? Um, it's some type of self-hypnosis, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. But I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a, not a lot, really. I think it helped her. I think she used it as a sort of self-meditation. Well, let's see. Black scry mirror. Uh, do, 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 do. New Kate bought a mirror. Wait, actually. Nope. Okay, 
bought a mirror. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. <laughs> Probably. More like certainly. Uh, let's go... Well, we could probably go to the village hall, but uh, we're close to the end of the episode, so I think we'll hold off on that. Um, I do want to talk to Rebecca and James, and then I think we'll call that an episode. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Right, let's ask about this. What do you know about doll burning at Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. Interesting. Do you know anything about this? It's not porn, by the way. No, sorry. Ask Ryan. I would, but he's doing his little doll burning thing. Burning his noodly appendages. Do you know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot. But if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. Atlas used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? That, that wasn't exactly an answer. I suspect that uh, remote control lock is... Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. ...for um, the uh, thing back there. But I'm going to hold that for the next episode. Let's go talk to James and then uh, call it an episode. I'll ring the doorbell. Few more questions, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Doll burning ceremony. What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything to you. No. Should it? No, that's okay. Maybe. You seem to like the occult crap. Seen this before? No, what is it? Do you not recognize porn. it? No. Should I? Is it porn? I'd like to see it if it's porn. Yeah. Ever heard of auto-hypnosis, James? Self-hypnosis. Yeah? And what do you know about it? It's another name for scrying. Some people call it auto-hypnosis, I call it scrying. Right. So you're saying scrying is just self-hypnosis? Scrying? You can scry on anything. I don't use a mirror. I can scry watching the clouds. Maybe the water on a lake in the moonlight. The fire in front of you that you've been watching water. this whole time. What happens? You go into a trance. You lose yourself in your unconscious. You go deeper and deeper. You swim around. Try not to go too deep. Because if you go too deep, you start drowning. Then you get dragged down to the bottom. This guy is totally stoned. As long as you stay swimming, come to the surface again. Then you wake up and see the world as it really is. Like a journey to a place people talk about, but no one's ever seen. You're thinking about Kate, aren't you? What makes you say that? She bought a mirror. Sold her one last year. Was she into using mirrors like that? No idea. But she bought one. Right. Well, as long as we're here... Nah, these aren't really contradictory, they're just... Thank you. Probably be back later. Same thing in another way, essentially. It's totally a blue light filter. <laughs> um... But I think we'll call this an episode here. We are 37% complete. Um, go ahead and save it right there. 
And uh, in the next episode, we will continue with, uh, what hour are we on? 8 p.m. Uh, we want to check out that building back there. We want to check out the uh, village hall, see if uh, see what that meeting is about. Uh, but that'll all be in the next episode. See you then, everyone.